Solutions occasional series in YouTube tutorials. Today we're looking at fractal analysis of textures. And just to say, this is not my work. Uh, the conference paper was written by Mr. Costa, Miss Triana, okay, and Mr. Mam Mamani. Apologies now if I got that right. So that's the paper is available there on researchgate.net and Mr. Costa, if I just unzoom a bit, goes through the fractal analysis and you know, why it's used etc and if you want to do that you can read that to your heart's content so I can shut that down. Next thing the code is given is there on the MATLAB central file exchange Okay, just to say, there we go. And Mr. Costa, so the code is there. You can download it there. I can shut that down. There's a bit of a tutorial there about how it works, but I've done this, so hopefully that will help as well. So the important thing here is to get this directory structure right. So we can shut that down. Uh, the next thing we want to say is the texture database that he tested it on is uh, from uh, Schmidt and Ponce, and you can get that there. So you have to download that yourself. Uh, Ponce's paper is given, just go up there. Now that's Ponce's paper where he did the different texture samples so you can read that there and that's hopefully you can just read it up there okay and we can we saw that already we can download that okay we'll explain what that's doing there in a second uh, we just maximize that so I've done nothing now just to say the work is all Mr. Costas I've downloaded it there's a MATLAB central file exchange. There's 25 texture classes. There's 40 samples each. We'll have a different, little look at that in a second. The code is there. And I just put in a section break so you're just trying to build up the uh, predictors there. So, and then we're just going to run this section here in a second just to see what goes on. So if we look uh, at the documents, just go up there a sec. So there's all the uh, ponces. Uh, there's 40 different classes, or there's 25 classes by 40. I downloaded them separately. But the important thing is you put all of them into one directory called images. And then there's another file to download, which is a text file. And that says a T11. 38 is floor 2, T02 is bark 2, T13, 20 is a wall. And just go up there a second. I know I sort of have them doubly, T01 is bark, T02 is bark, bark 3, wood 1. If I just click one at random. There's all the walls. So there's all the subfolders, but the thing is you have to put them all into one big folder and then you also need that text file describing what each image is. So I've run the code, it takes a while, it can take 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes to get to there. That's, excuse me a second, just from start there. So you're building up F and L to there. So there's your thousand by twenty one. So there's a thousand uh, images, and there's twenty one uh, features. And um, Mr. Costa uh, removed three of them to make it slightly more efficient. Then we're going to do a naive base fit. So we're going to get that MB there. So that's going to be our predictor. We're going to read in a test image. 
and uh, we're going to run the the fractal here the fractal uh, script on i test and then we're going to use the naive bays to predict whether it's you know granite brick marble whatever so i'm not going to run the bit of code up there because it takes so long i'm just going to run this bit here uh, just go to my editor run section Let that run a second. Sorry about that. And there's the answer. The answer that it's brick brick of type two. And I have a twice there by accident. So there's the brick. And just to get the accreditations right, I took that brick from wikipedia so just to get that out of the way that is not that image is not mine but i checked the um, the copyright and it was okay to use that it helps a little and thanks very much for listening bye